Hello. It is uh, time for a new Q&A video. I figured I'd just fuck around over here for a little while uh, instead of always over there. But um, I do have a lot of questions again. Um, I think I'm over like 50. So, I mean, hopefully I can answer them all. If not, I'm sorry. Um, but I'll do my best. <laughs> Okay, first question is from Jonah. Standard or drop D? I like drop D. Uh, Timmy wants to know what my favorite Bayside song is. Um, probably have to go with It's Not a Bad Little War from Killing Time. That's a good one. Jordan asks if I like Oreos. Who doesn't like Oreos? If you don't like Oreos, fuck you. Um, Jake wants to know what my favorite Atari's lyrics are and my favorite Blink lyrics. Um, I, I don't think I really have favorite Atari lyrics because I don't really listen to them that much. Um, I'm not even really like huge on lyrics anyway, um, no matter what the band is. But for Blink, I don't know. Probably this, the... The verses in Natives is really cool. That's just the first thing that came to mind. Uh, Epiphone or Squire? Another one from Jordan. Uh, Epiphone, I guess. Uh, Landon Starks says, Listen to this band and tell me what you think. The singer's voice is scarily like Tom DeLonge's. And I'm pretty sure... like I'm not going to click it on my phone, but I'm pretty sure it was the front bottoms and... I, I've heard them before because my friend likes them, but I don't really think they sound similar, to be honest. Um, if you had to pick a song from the albums Uno, Dos, or Trey from Green Day, what would it be? I don't really understand the question, like, my favorite songs from those albums, or from those. Um, even then, I wouldn't really know, because I kind of gave up on Green Day a while ago, so I never even bothered to listen to them. Um, let's see. To record with your band, what three guitars that you currently own would I use to record rhythm, left, right, and leads? Um... If once this one's done, I'll, I would probably do leads with this one. Um, rhythm, I'd probably do maybe like the orange strat, and then because that's it's pretty much what Dave's sound is because he has an invader in one of his guitars, and then I would probably use um, or not the orange strat, the blue one because that's the one that has the invader in it now, um, and then I'd probably use the black one because that has the uh, uh, that P90. Uh, bare knuckle pickup in it, which is pretty awesome. So uh, I would do that one. So um, this next one, that was from who was it from? That was from Miguel. This one's from Katie. It says, "What three things, or what are the top three things uh, on your bucket list that you'd like to do before you die, if you have any?" Um, that is a tough one. Um, I do want to see a moose. I think that would be really cool. But I mean, that's just kind of chance. I mean, either you see one or you don't. Um, I mean, I would like to meet Mark and Tom from Blink. Um, Travis, I mean, Travis would be cool, but I mean, he doesn't really talk that much. So, I mean, it would probably be kind of boring to meet him. That's just me personally. Um, <sighs> hmm. And then I don't know. I always I always wanted to live above a bakery, just because I love the smell of fresh bread, and just waking up to that smell every morning would just be amazing. So, 
there's there's three random ones, not like a top three or anything like that. Um, Landon asks, what are your favorite subreddits? Um, what are my favorite subreddits? Um, WTF is, is pretty good sometimes. Sometimes there's some fucked up shit on there. Um, Funny is a good one. They're, that one's always pretty popular. Um, the guitar one's not bad. Um, the Blink-182 one's not that great, to be completely honest. Um, I'm trying to think what other ones I go on. The gaming one's really good. I, I go on that one a lot. Uh, so, I, I'd go with those. Um, what are my top five favorite Blink-182 guitar intros? Or just intros in general. Um... Can't really go wrong with Man Overboard. That's a really good bass intro. Um, let's see. I love the drum intro to After Midnight. It's just so simple, but it's really, really cool. Um, let's see. I do like... Anthem Part 2, how it just really starts to build up. That's a good one. Um, going Away to College is, is a really good one. I just like the house... Like, I just love how the guitar is in the, in the intro. It's really simple, but it just sounds awesome. And then I'd probably have to go with Damn It, I guess, because that one's, that one's pretty obvious. Um, John asks, for a Blink-182 cover band, what do I think of the name The Mark, Tom, and Travis Hour? I've heard better, personally. <laughs> I don't think it's that great. Um, Aaron wants to know what my favorite Newfound Glory riffs are. Um, I really like this one. <laughs> It's been a summer. That's a good one. Um, God, there are a lot of really good ones, so it's really hard to just pick one. Um, My Friends Over You has a good one. Um, this Disaster is really good. Um, shit. Listen to Your Friends has a really good one. Uh, don't let her pull you down. So that's a few. Um, did I get rid of my black top Telecaster? Uh, yeah, I, I sold it to my friend Kevin a couple months ago. Um, I bought some pickups with the money I got from that. So um, it's not like it's far away or anything. It's uh, my friend that actually lives in town. So um, what word is hard for me to say? I don't really understand, like, physically, like, physically hard or emotionally hard. I, I don't know. I don't really think I have one that I can think of. I don't know. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, what did I get for Christmas? Um, well, I, I really just asked for money because I'm really just trying to save up for some stuff. Um, I did buy this, um, but I am trying to sell the Red Strat anyway. Um, so it's kind of like an even even thing there um i do need to buy a new cab um not not because there's anything wrong with my orange or anything but i i want to have another one for when uh for my band for when we're fucking around with other stuff if we ever do like shows and stuff which we're planning to we just need to find the singer so um so that's pretty much it i got a couple other like little things um my sister got me a custom guitar strap um mm -hmm. Which I'll probably use on my acoustic. I haven't really done much with it yet, but it says "Little Chaos" down the bottom of it, which is pretty cool. Um, I got a couple other little things. Oh, you know what? I'll actually show you something. My friend actually made this pillow for me, which I thought was really cool. Uh, obviously, it's got the little blink smiley on there took her a long time to do it she said because it was just difficult but uh, it was really awesome I thought it was great um, a couple other little things um, 
but for the most part, really just money, and that's all I really wanted because just guitar stuff. I'm always wanting more guitar stuff, so. Uh, let's see. Will I ever buy a new bass? Um, not anytime soon. If I do, it would probably be like a Fender Jazz bass or something, um, but I don't really have a plan to. It's not like I ever did a lot of bass covers anyway. The only time I did like new bass covers is if I, was, if I was really bored or if a new Blink album came out, and that's pretty much it. So, uh, let's see. How did you start working on your own guitars? I just started. I found some wiring diagrams and stuff online. Uh, my dad more or less taught me how to use a soldering gun, and I just kind of went with it. I mean, it's not too bad, especially if you're using like a cheap guitar or something. It's not too hard to do. Um, let's see. Do you remember the first band you really got into as a kid? Um, probably Rush. I do uh, still really love Rush. Um, it, it was all stuff that my dad was listening to. So, I mean, it, it could have been a number of things. Um, either like Rush, The Cars, uh, stuff like that. So, it wasn't anything like Blink or anything like that. I didn't start listening to them until I was like 12 or 13. Um... Skipping a couple because there's there's been a few uh, questions that I've just been asked so many times. Um, Lucas says, if you could kill any celeb, who would it be? Um, I'd really love to kill Taylor Swift, just because she needs to shut the hell up, and I'm sick of fucking hearing her. Um, but at the same time, I feel like if someone did kill her, it would just it would be one of those things that made her way more popular like a Van Gogh type thing. I think it was Van Gogh, where he killed himself and then he became really famous. Or his paintings became really famous. I think it was Van Gogh. I don't remember. But, um, yeah, I feel like that would really backfire on me. Um, do I have a New Year's resolution? Um, right now, my New Year's resolution is to get a Les Paul Custom, and it's going to happen eventually. I just don't know when. But hopefully before 2015. Um, Christina asks, What do I think about Green Day taking a break? That sounds amazing because they could really use one. Maybe, maybe it would give them a wake-up call to make decent music again. Um, what's my favorite song at the moment? Um, hmm... That's a good one. That's a good one. Hmm. Well, lately, I've been listening to uh, a Paul Gilbert song called The Curse of Castle Dragon, and that's actually the first song of his I ever got into. Um, so I've just been re-listening to that like every now and then, because it's just awesome. I love the guitar on it. Um, what's my opinion on Green Day and The Offspring? Uh, basically, Green Day, I feel like they're not as good as they used to be. I mean, that's just me. Um, I don't care about their new music at all. I thought 21's, or 21st Century Breakdown was a pile of shit. Um, American Idiot, I heard way too many times. It was way too overdone. And I didn't even bother with any of their stuff after that. Um, Offspring? I don't mind the Offspring. It's just one of those bands that I don't think are that great. So, I mean, I'll listen to them. I don't mind listening to them at all. But it's not one of those bands where I'm like, oh, I want to listen to The Offspring. You know, because it just, I never have the urge to. I mean, if it comes on the radio or something, I'll be like, cool, yeah, I'll listen to it. But I don't really care for them that much. Um, another one from Jordan. Favorite guitars of Fender and Gibson. Gibson Les Paul, Fender Strat. That's pretty much as basic as I can get. I mean, I do like this Tele a lot, but I mean, I do like uh, strats for fenders over Tellys. Um, William wants to know what pickup I would recommend for clarity, crunch, bite, and high output all in one. Um, definitely a bare knuckle pickup because their clarity is 
incredible. Um, the uh, the humbucker size P90 I have um, right now it's in my black Strat. I had it in the blue one before. Um, I think that pickup is amazing. The only thing I don't like about it is the fact that it is a P90, so um, which is technically a single coil, so it does hum a lot if I don't have a noise suppressor. That's the only thing I don't like about it. But um, that pickup's awesome. And there are a lot of other bare knuckle pickups that are really great um, for clarity, really. Um, <clears throat> Johnny wants to know what my biggest inspiration is. Um, I don't know. I don't really have one. <laughs> I just kind of take it day by day and just kind of go with the flow. I don't really focus on a lot of stuff like, like, oh, I want to be like this person or I want to be like that person. I just kind of be myself and just worry about myself, I guess. Um, William wants to know what my top 10 favorite movies are this year. Honestly, I don't think I can pick 10, but, um, for movies I've seen this year, um, I, I just saw that new, um, Secret Life of Walter Mitty or whatever it was called. It wasn't bad. Um, I saw Anchorman 2. I thought it was fucking hilarious. Uh, I know a lot of people have said that they didn't like it, but I really liked it a lot. Um, what else? Uh, this is the End was really funny. Um the hell was that one with Simon Pegg? Let me let me look something up real quick. Uh, it was The World's End. That's what it was called. That was a good movie, too. I thought it was pretty cool. Um, other than that, I mean, I've been watching like a lot of older movies that I've never really seen. Like, I just saw A Christmas Story, like, a couple weeks ago. I, it's, like, 30-something years old, if not more, and I've just seen it. Um, well, a lot of, like, older stuff, like I said, so. Um, um, Jonas says, now with your new telly, what covers do you plan on doing? Honestly, I haven't even really thought about it. I know I haven't been doing a lot of covers lately. Um, it definitely does have a very different tone compared to <coughs> compared to any other guitar. I do have my uh, my Ibanez Tube Screamer on right now, but but it is a very different sounding guitar. Um, but. I don't know. I'm I'm really more focused on um, figuring stuff out with my band right now than just covers. I don't know. It's it's it sucks to to say that, but that's just how it really is. Um, Glenn says, "What do you think about Justin Bieber's rumored retirement?" Um, I heard about that, and then I heard that it was a joke or something. I mean, if if he quit, that'd be fantastic. Um, Another one, what I get for Christmas. Um, are there any plans for your band in 2014? Um, not necessarily 2014. We're just trying to find a singer, get the lyrics done. We got, like, five songs done right now, more or less done, except for lyrics. Um, we have, like, an intro, and then we're working on another song right now. But we gotta find a singer and then write lyrics and then record an EP. That's that's the plan. And then they want to do like some shows and stuff. So I mean, it's really all about if we find the right singer. So I don't know. Um, what are my opinions on guitarists that use a lot of effects, like the Edge and Matt Bellamy and Tom Morello? Um, I. I think it's cool. I love listening to them. If you can, uh, if you can make them sound good, I think it's great. I personally don't really like using effects and stuff like that. I just like plugging and playing. Um, 
but I don't mind listening to them at all. Um, and have I tried the EVH 5150s instead of the, the PV 50, 5150s? I haven't tried them. Um, I've seen them, but I've never tried them. Uh, they're supposed to sound pretty much the same thing. Um, or at least pretty similar. What are my thoughts on Adam Lazar's new side project song? I didn't even know he had one. <laughs> Um, could I give Sebastian says could you give me some advice on how to become better at playing I'm pretty new to playing guitar and I don't know how to improve my playing um, just keep playing I mean just practice I mean if you want to get better at songs practice songs if you want to get better at soloing practice soloing if you want to get better at improvising improvise I mean it's really as simple as that. If you want to get better at, with your right hand, just worry about your right hand. If you want to get better at bending, bending, you know, it's it's as simple as that. I mean, the only thing that's going to get you better at anything is just practice. Um, you could go to a teacher, too. That, that could definitely help. Um, but even then, it's just another form of practice with just a little bit of guidance. So, I mean, it's as simple as that. Uh, my dad wants to know... Why are the majority of my covers current music? Don't you think if you covered some earlier music uh, that I might increase my fan base? Um, anytime I post songs from like 80s or 90s or even earlier than that, most people don't even fucking watch them. <laughs> That's the problem. Um, I mean, I definitely like a lot of older music, but I just feel like YouTube is more of like a, a younger market type thing anyway and those are the people that are really watching the videos and if I put up something from like Rush or Led Zeppelin or any other older band like that I mean I could get some decent views on it but usually my my group of fans really just don't care about them most of the time if I put up like anything other than like the same few bands I get like not even half as many views and it bums me out um what are my favorite thrice albums in order god I don't even know all their albums off the top of my head best one is artist in the ambulance visu I would say is next um the fuck is the name of that other album uh beggars I like a lot um I don't like major minor um, their older albums, like anything older than Artists in the Ambulance, I don't really like. Um, I like the Fire album, I like the Water album, and I don't really like the Ground, or Earth, or uh, Air, I don't really like those that much. Um, who would I say is a better bass player, Jeremy Davis or Mark Hoppus? Um, probably Jeremy. I mean, he's... He at least like improvises a lot more. He's he. I guess you could say he shows off a bit more, which isn't a bad thing. I mean, he just is a little more creative with his style. And Mark, I mean, it's usually pretty simple, but he's also singing a lot too. So, I mean, that's pretty much how that is. Um, Steven wants to know: I have an Invader in the bridge of my guitar and an Alnico Two Pro in the neck. Do I think I should get some bare knuckles? I have been checking them out and they look sick, although I'm pretty happy with my sound as it is. Uh, if you're happy with the way your sound is, there's no reason to change it, to be completely honest. I tried I tried a uh, bare knuckle out in one of my guitars and you know I loved it, but at the same time, I love how some of my other guitars sound without bare knuckles in them too, so I mean... It's really up to you. I mean, trying some new stuff is great. I mean, it's only going to teach you more stuff by trying out new things. But, I mean, if you're happy with what you have, there's no reason to change it if, if you like how it is. Um, but getting to learn how to, like, change out pickups and stuff for yourself and uh, learn how to just fuck around with stuff is, is a really useful thing. Um, Sam wants to know if I skate. I am way too big and way too uncoordinated to skate. 
Um, Andrew wants to know if I will cover an entire AFI album. Maybe. I mean, if I did, it would probably be um, <sighs> Sing the Sorrow, if I did one. Um, do I have a favorite strumming pattern? No, <laughs> I don't think so. Uh, how long did it take to start learning by ear? Um, I mean, it's really just as simple as listening to a song and trying to figure it out. I mean, it's not really learning how to do it. It's just you gotta get used to it. You gotta. It's more about knowing your guitar more than it is about like knowing the song. So, I mean, it's just one of those things that you just kind of take it, take it slow, and eventually you figure it out. Um, what questions do I hate at being asked the most? Um, I am getting a little sick of blink related stuff. Um, but I mean that's to be expected. Um nothing else really jumps out that I can think of. Um what's my favorite instrument other than the guitar? Uh probably the skin flute. I do like that one. That's from James. Um favorite and least favorite New Found Glory album. Favorite is Sticks and Stones, least favorite's probably their first one. Um, favorite and least favorite I Am Abomination albums uh, favorite would be the newest one least favorite would be their first one not that their first one's bad it's just it's not really as good as the other ones um, favorite pizza toppings um, I do like jalapenos a lot I do like bacon a lot and I do like just different styles of chicken, whether it's like buffalo chicken or barbecue or um, some other kind. Um, broccoli is pretty good on a pizza. Um, I do love uh, just like green peppers. Um, and I, I pretty much take anything other than like mushrooms, onions, or uh, like sardines or something weird like that. Um, is the Fiesta Red Strat still your favorite yeah um what happened to my hendrix strat i don't know i fucking sold that a long time ago um what do i think about laney amps this is from raymundo um i've never played one i mean he's he's asking if i would recommend him getting a 35 watt laney or a 20 watt fender mustang i've never played either of them i mean the only advice I could really give is just like watch some videos online on like how it's gonna sound and um, read reviews and stuff. I mean, just try and figure out what's gonna sound best for you. Um, Thomas wants to know what my dream car is. Um, this may be a surprise to some people, but because I'm a guy, but I could fucking care less about cars as long as I'm getting from A to B. I don't really mind. I'd like something with better gas mileage. But, I don't know. I like Fords. The only cars I've had are Fords. But, I mean, it doesn't really matter. So, I don't know. I, I had to use a rental car recently. Um, and that was like a Mazda 6 or something. It was pretty new. That was a nice car. Um, let's see. I'm almost out of questions. Um, have you ever heard of the band called The Von Shakes? Um can honestly say I haven't heard them. Um, also, I know this question may sound weird, but I've always wanted to know, do Americans say things differently from Irish or English people? Like you have um, your own words, for example, that English and Irish say, someone could be a wanker, but you, you guys tend to say jerk. Is there other words you would know? Um, I mean, we use plenty of different words, um, but it's hard to really, like, compare them, like, situational-wise. Um, I don't know, it's kind of a hard question, but I mean, watch any, like, American movie, and then watch, like, here's a good one. Watch the, uh, the U.S. version of The Office, and then watch the European version of The Office, and you'll see how different it is when it's still pretty much the same thing it's just the dialogue is different even though they're pretty much talking about the same things it's hard to explain but there definitely are differences 
Okay, I found a question I don't like. Favorite and least favorite single from each Blink album, or favorite and least favorite song from each album, this album, favorite this album, least favorite this, you know. No offense, but I, I've gotten that enough times. Um, so, I think that's the last question I had. Um, so, hopefully uh, you guys enjoyed. Um, it's January already, which is hard to believe. Well, technically, it's uh, for me right now, it's December 29th um, as of this video. But, um, hope you guys like the video. I'll... I'll be showing off this guitar a bit more, but mostly it's going to be for uh, when I play with the band. <laughs> um, so, that's pretty much all I got. Um, I'll be doing another one of these in about a month or so. Um, and I think that'll actually be like the one year anniversary, I guess, of uh, these little Q&As, since I'm pretty sure I started in February. Um, but if you got more questions, I mean, you can ask me below in the comments if you didn't get to uh, ask me a question, and I'll just answer them there. But if you want me to answer something in the next video, I'll be posting a new status about a month from now. Um, pretty much like the end of January, I'll be posting a status on my Facebook page. <coughs> that you can uh, leave me any questions or anything that you got if you just got comments whatever um, so that's all I got <laughs>